communities works on the level of symbolism as much as on the level of uh, factuality, you know, like why we pray, why we go to church, why we mourn. Three of our soldiers were killed last night. Among them was the brother of one of your classmates. In episode seven in dealing with Craig's death, in that scene, Danny's just kind of outside and he's kind of just looking over and, and everything. He's just trying to really decide if this is real, if this is really happening. So for Luca, he, he, what he told me at least was just to really live in that moment. And, and, and it came from a, a place of rage because in that scene, you see, you'll see Danny holding the pencil and you see him, he breaks the pencil because he's so upset. And I feel like that's often how Danny's sense of emotion comes across his rage. Craig was their, their mentor, their teacher, a brother. So it's, it's, a, it's a shift. It's a shift definitely in the mood of the entire series. You have the characters dealing with uh, a piece of themselves that just seems like it's missing. It was, it was devastating for Danny. Before they deploy, there's 90 days where you ramp up and you do a little bit of a lockdown on base and they can't like go off at night and there's a curfew and you can't socialize in certain ways and just kind of getting people more like geared up and prepared prepared for, in a way. So yeah. they're trained and they're ready. They're just not at that certain heightened level, which is what you do in this 90 days. Did you take their 90 days away? All the men were ready. That wasn't your call, Sarah. Have you been watching the news, Martin? The people want a leader who can make tough decisions. Richard is pissed that she took the 90 days away from his troops. And then they die. So then he's he's like, I hate this woman. Oh, come on, she doesn't know what a hero is. You kind of see his anger kind of come to a head at the memorial. Ma'am, you made a decision. You could just tell that he was really close with these kids. So in that moment, Richard is kind of like, I've had it with this woman. There were kids! Come on. This is for the kids! What? And he gets drunk and doesn't know what else to do but have this outburst. Hey, calm down. Hey, 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 hey. Come on, man. Huh? Hey, come on. Huh? Stop. Embarrassing himself, embarrassing Sarah, embarrassing his family, embarrassing his daughter. Get the fuck off! Hey, Rich, come on now. Hey. Not him. Why not? It was his mother who got Craig killed. Sam, you know that's not true. He's not coming with us. He was never one of us. Come on. Go. As a, a group of friends, we go back to the Russian villa where we were last with uh, with Craig before he departs for um, his mission. That's the process for the kids to mourn. That, that house represents a sort of Eden of freedom, untouched by the control of anybody else. And where they go to mourn that loss in the place that they reconsider, that they consider in a way very important as forging the bond of the group. Luca wants realism when it's that, when it's those particular scenes. Like, he expects realism. All the kids, the way that they feel they need to cope with this or uh, get over this is by doing drugs, by drinking, you know, basically just going crazy. Absolutely, absolutely insane. There was just so much adrenaline and, like, we rehearsed it so many times because we could only do it in one take. And my reaction in it when it actually happened is so real because I wasn't expecting the breaking of the glass to be so loud. It was like terrifying. Feeling the moment. Yeah. With everything, with every scene in that, um, in that episode, it was just feeling the moment and putting yourself like, you know, you just lost someone close to you. <laughs> Afterwards, I think we were all like crying because the adrenaline was just so intense. I'm jumping on the couch and I start crying. And yeah. everyone oh, yeah, yeah, me yeah, 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 and then yeah, she okay. grabs me. Yeah. And then we go in the room and then you're just okay. like... When Brittany walks in, I think she's a little bit distraught. And yeah, I don't think she was like really mad. She realizes Sam seen um, 
Kaylin as a coping mechanism for mm -hmm. this, you know? Exactly. We've had our ups and downs in our friendship, but I think they're best friends. Danny's already struggling with his religion as it is. That's one of the, the key factors in, in who Danny is. And that's why he's able to finally give into that emotion and finally able to allow what he had pent up inside of him to come out, the sadness, the rage, all that. I feel like he was able to ground himself and realize what was important and that, you know, you can't lose sight of the person who you are and you can't lose sight of the person who you are, I guess, trying to become. That's uh, how it affected his religion.